Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there AstroVenturers, welcome back. If you're new to this Astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the Astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Skyguider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Now, in uh, this particular episode, we're going to continue looking at stock cameras, hydrogen alpha modified or AstroMods, and full spectrum and how to set the white balance. Now, I'm setting it the way I do it. I'm sharing what it is that I do. If it works for you, great. If you have a different technique, that's great. Maybe you try what I'm doing, see what you think. Okay, so let's get started on this. First off, let's address doing stock cameras. If I'm shooting Milky Way photography, then I like to set my white balance to a Kelvin temperature of 4100. That's what I'm happy with. It gives it a nice blue tint to it and I think it looks good. You might have to adjust it depending on the light pollution for where you're at, okay? Now, if I'm shooting astrophotography, I'm going after deep space objects on a stock camera, then what I like to do is set it at a daylight or full sunshine setting on the camera. Now, with this to keep in mind, Everything should be shot in raw. So even though you may have a preset white balance, everything is adjustable when you're shooting in raw. But this is the system or my technique for what I'm doing. So for stock, 4100 Kelvin for Milky Way photography. And if I'm gonna do deep space, I set it to a daytime or sunlight setting on the camera. Moving on, for hydrogen alpha modification or for a full spectrum, what I like to do is I use an 18% gray card. This is commonly used in photography for setting white balance. And this is what I like to use. I set this in the shade on a sunny day and I set my white balance off of the 18% gray. Now, as I said, you're shooting in raw. Ultimately, you could do anything that you would like to do for a setting because all of it is adjustable in Photoshop. But with my technique of using an 18% gray card, I have the same starting point each time that I go to sit down and, you know, edit my photos. So that way there, uh, I kind of got the muscle memory of knowing exactly what, did I, what it is that I need to do to quickly get all of my color channels in alignment. And that works for both the AstroMod Hydrogen Alpha and the full spectrum, which is your naked sensor. So there you have it. That's how I suggest doing it to set up your white balance for a stock camera, hydrogen alpha, astro mod, or naked sensor, full spectrum. And then moving forward on our next episode, we'll take a look at editing and processing some images off of my full spectrum Nikon D600. Till next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights, and I would love to see you over at our Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR, and please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video.